Hello, welcome again. So this is the second part of chapter two. So in this part, we will be discussing about the asset retirement obligations. So the a company may incur obligations associated with the disposition of property plan and equipment and natural resources. So this kind of activities gives rise to an asset retirement obligation uh, that is defined as an existing legal obligation associated with the disposition or retirement of uh, tangible long-lived assets. Uh, for example, oil, oil and gas exploration company might be required to restore land to its original condition after extraction is completed. So, generally accepted accounting principle requires that an existing legal obligation associated with the retirement of a tangible long-lived asset be recognized as a liability and measured at fair value if value can be reasonably estimated. So, the provisions of the standards to address assets retirement obligations scope recognition measurement and the present value calculations so here is an example so the jackson mining company paid 1 million for the right to explore for a coal deposit on 500 acres of land in pennsylvania costs of exploring for the coal deposit totaled 800,000 and intangible development costs incurred in digging and erecting the mine shaft were 500,000. In addition, uh, Jackson purchased new excavation equipment for the project at a cost of 600,000. After the coal is removed from the site, the equipment will be sold. Jackson is required by its contract to restore the land to a condition suitable for recreational use after it extracts the coal. The company has provided the following three cash flow possibilities A, B and C for the restoration costs to be paid in three years after extraction is completed. Okay, and now let's see. So the uh, three possibilities A, B and C so they will be uh, having 500,000, the probability is 30%, uh, V 600,000, 50%, and C 700,000, 20%. So the company's, company's, the credit adjusted risk-free interest rate is 8%, okay? And now let's see the present value of expected cash outflow from restoration costs so the asset retirement obligation would be equal to so total see that uh, here 500,000 the probability a probability is 30 percent so that is why it is 150 percent uh, 50,000 and 600,000 50 percent probability so 300,000 and 700,000 that 20 percent probability so it is 140 percent so the total amount, this is the total expected cash flow, okay? And this one is the present value factor, okay? So uh, if we go to the table uh, where N is three and I is eight uh, percent, I will show you again uh, in the problem solving. So the total cost would be, so the purchase of rights, one million, exploration cost, 800,000, development cost 500,000 and restoration cost. So the, that is the uh, asset retirement obligation. So the restoration cost 468,360. Uh, so total uh, cost to be capitalized uh, for the coal deposit 2,768,360. And the journal entry to record these uh, a transaction would be coal mine, the total value of the uh, asset. So the coal mine is 2,768,360. Then cash, we paid this amount in cash, 2,300,000. And the asset retirement liability is the remaining amount, the restoration cost. And uh, we have also purchased an excavation equipment 
that is 600,000 and cash credit. So after every year, we need to calculate the interest uh, that is also called the accretion expense. Okay. So what you can see, this is our uh, asset retirement obligation, correct? And 8% of this amount in the year one would be this amount. And some of uh, this one, meaning some of this asset retirement obligation plus this interest is equal to uh, this amount. This is uh, at the end of the first year. And the, in the second year, our interest would be uh, on this amount. See that? So this is the amount. Okay. So 8% of this amount. And in the third year, our interest would be on this amount. Okay. So every year after calculating the accretion expense, uh, we need to increase the asset retirement liability by the amount of accretion expense. So that is why accretion expense debit and asset retirement liability credit. So there is also another situation. So if the actual restoration costs are more than the uh, expected value, 590,000, we recognize a loss on the retirement of the obligation for the difference. Say, for example, the actual restoration cost were 625,000. So the difference between this 625,000 and 590 is 35,000. So that is why we are recording. So asset retirement liability debit, uh, loss debit, and total cash credit. Okay. So now let's go to solve uh, two problems on asset retirement liability. Uh, in the next video, we will solve two problems. Have a good one.